the ballpark Big 8. From baseballs to bucks with a future Hall of Famer. He's coming fast. He's coming fast. Hunting and baseball, two of America's favorite pastimes. The only thing better is when you combine them together. Add some giant Illinois whitetails, and that's a concoction that's worth checking out. I'm Matt Drury, and this is a throwback edition of DOD TV. This segment of DOD TV is brought to you by PSC's Carbon Air Experience Performance. If you've watched baseball at any point between 1992 and 2012, you've probably seen Jim Tomey, that Peoria slugger, knock one out of the park. In the same light, if you've been watching Drury Outdoors since 2005, you've probably seen Jim camo clad and sitting behind a bow or slug gun. Now let's rewind that beautiful deer footage and check out his inaugural hunt with the DOD team. Yo, what do you say about Big Jim Tomey? One of the goals that Terry and I had going into this season was to get Jim Tomey on film killing a deer. We became really good friends with Jim, and I remember that first day we met him. Jim rolls into camp, he's got this huge truck with these huge tires, and uh, one of them's flat, and we gotta go get it fixed. Boston, I used to ride in grade school, wasn't that big? Well, Jim Tomey came in to visit, and uh, he had his big truck with him, and the wheels are real big, and I guess running on the interstate, one of them bulged out, and now we're trying to get it fixed. So hopefully uh, hopefully this gentleman's gonna help us out. We go to pay the bill, and uh, something's weird about Jim's credit card. <laughs> hey, Jim, you need him blown? His credit's bad. Follows you everywhere once you get started with this stuff. We won't tell anybody about this. He can't come up with the three hundred dollars to pay for the time. He's gonna have to go in the back and work this out. Oh, he'll owe us big for this. No gar hole in the night. We're gonna sit in the best spot. Okay, I'll do that. He does this everywhere we go. They're our tires. We get to his place. We're taking them off. You ready, big you boy? You ready, big boy? Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Come on, man. Come on, dude. See, man. Debacle. That was just the first in a long list of funny things that happened with Jim Tomey. We salute Mark McGuire. It's so cold. It's so cold. I'm trying to have Mark warm me up with his greatness. Might be tremendous next year, so we're gonna go ahead and pass him. Brad, <laughs> I'm Terry. Here's Jim. There's yes, there's three of us in this tree. <laughs> we're hunting. We're hunting. Where's Mark when you need him? Huh? Mark. We need higher chairs. <laughs> we can't see out. Jesus, my head's big. <laughs> <laughs> the stories go on and on with this guy. I mean, everything that could go wrong has gone wrong with Jim. And this year, we were going to change that luck. Let's go have some fun. Well, we finally get an opportunity to go in the blind we want to. And it, we, it took us all weekend to do it. So basically, we're looking forward to this. This should be a fun night. Let's, uh, let's go have some fun.
to me, I think hunting means a lot. I mean, it's something that I've done as a kid. Uh, you know, I, my father, we were raised hunting in the Midwest and uh, having the opportunity to, uh, to own some property and to get out in the woods after especially a long season of baseball is truly something that I enjoy because it gives me a mental release from, you know, from the game and basically from life in general. When you're in a tree, uh, you know, you see things that you normally wouldn't see otherwise. You know, when that, you know, when horns are coming, you're ready. It's like that one-on-one -on -one confrontation. You know, pitcher on the mound, hitter in the box, you against him. Let's get after it. You hate him. He's going down. Oh my god. You got him. He's down. Oh my god. He's down. He's down. That's the big eight. It's the big A. We've been chasing that deer for four years. He's down. He's down. Well, here we are. We've worked so hard for this deer. My brother, I owe this to my brother Chuck. He put this blind up. He's worked his butt off. And Darren and I have been chasing this deer for the last three days. We got up early. We didn't hunt this morning. We set some blinds up. We got the St. Louis Cardinal guys coming in next weekend. And, you know, this is, uh, 
This is just unbelievable. We're gonna go get him right now. Let's go. Actually, this evening, I told Darren on the way out, I said, you know, it just feels like, you know, we were gonna get a big deer tonight. And, uh, you know, we were fortunate, like I said before, I mean, my brother Chuck, my brother Randy, all the guys that work so hard, you know, in the summertime while I'm gone playing baseball to be able to harvest an animal like this is just an honor, you know? I mean, this is what we all work for. You know, my, my time is very limited with baseball and working out and, you know, with a little girl, but, you know, and being home with my wife, but it's just, it's an honor to, you know, to harvest an animal like this. It's just great. He'll look good on Lodge 25 wall. He'll be right dead center. He'll be, he'll, he'll stand alone. I know there's bigger out there, but you know what? He's great. Jim's a very dear friend of Mark and myself and, uh, you know, we, we felt really, really happy for him that he was able to harvest a big animal like that. It turned out to be a fantastic hunt. Now, we're just a couple weeks away from an event that we're all anticipating. We got a bunch of baseball players that love to hunt, and we've got some hunters that love baseball. You gotta admit, a guy that can hit home runs and hit whitetail so precisely has it all figured out. Be sure to subscribe to our Jury Outdoors YouTube page and get all the updates from DOD TV, 100% Wild Podcast, Filament in the Kitchen, and more. Thanks for watching, and until next time, safe hunting.